What is going on guys? Welcome back to my Assassin's Creed Valhalla walkthrough. This is part 57 and we are right where we left off. As you guys can see we are playing as Lila. And um, we are about to travel to Norway to the same location as, you know, Eivor and Sigurd were in, in the previous study. episode. You, you know, to that ancient vault uh, with That's that machine. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah. Thanks, Bex. So... It doesn't seem to be anything here. We might as well go and talk to Sean and say that we're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Kind of feels like the ending to the game. We're closing in. I'm ready. It's a long way to Bean Town. Hop in. All right, let's go. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawaho en nakwat, unsme borturwan di guarde. Ul solas fras hunakudi de. Unzum huras, des dere has, zohumsi. I'm in. Alright, let's work. see if Basim is still hanging around here. <laughs> uh, for you guys who have seen the previous episode, you'll know what I mean by that. <laughs> um, okay. I wonder if anything has changed in this vault. Well, machine room, whatever you guys want to call it. That's tech humans should have. But yeah, Lila should be safe as long as she keeps that staff on her. Uh, since that is, you know, an ancient relic that keeps you young. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. Something's happened here. Here we go. This red smoke was not here before with the, um, you know, Sigurd and the uh, Eivor. Eivor, sorry. <laughs> I wonder what's causing it. There you are. You're working overtime. Must have collapsed when the ice melted. Ah. Okay. Well, this Whoa, place wow. is collapsing, but it looks a bit. So we'll need to find another way up to that machine. But yeah, this indeed does feel like um, we're closing in towards the ending, since we're now playing as Lila and not Eivor. Yeah, um, I guess we'll see what happens. I guess we'll continue until we're, you know, back in the Animus with Eivor. And yeah. So, last time we saw Eivor and Sigurd, they were leaving this place. Uh, I won't get into detail. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for you. But we did fight two, well, big boss fights in the previous episode. I can only mention one name. I won't spoil the other, but... Yeah, the first name is Odin. 
since the title of the previous episode was Odin, so yeah. I highly suggest that you guys check it out, I will leave a link down in the description as usual. Full playlist down below, so yeah, check it out. Is this the right path? Alright. Yeah, it feels like we're on the right path. Good. Here we go. So yeah, um, I do know for a fact that there is an epilogue in this game as well, so that will include in this series. Um, so yeah, it will be probably two more episodes after this, and that's about it. Anyone want to end their life here unless they felt it was just beginning? It's just like the animus. It's just like the animus. Yo, we're back in Valhalla with Lila. Damn. Well, Eivor's Valhalla, at least, um, as she mentioned. Yeah, it's changed. What the hell happened here? We can't seem to get past this. What the hell? By the way, Lila... She dropped the staff, and that is no, not good at all. She's not safe now. Why wouldn't she just, you know, kept the staff on her back? She's pretty much immortal with that staff, and now... Tsk, does not seem like it. What is this? Yo, it's those three, okay. Are the Sisters of Faith, I believe Are they're called. Something like that. Skuld, Verdandi, and Uldur. Yeah. Who's your master? Is he here? <laughs> they flatter me. I am only a guest in their world. A world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes. A hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed. But I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lasses that inwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry, the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together. For another catastrophe is near at hand. 
This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. God damn it. Silence, Udur. Verdandi. Scald. Be at ease. Your day of rest has come. At peace. At last. We rest. Is that it? Is it done? Basim! Where are you? Holy crap. Basim actually tricked Lila. He's gone, by the looks of it. So, Eivor and Sigurd trapped Basim in here in the previous episode. I won't get into detail. Again, you guys would have to check that out yourselves on why they did that. But, yeah. He's out. Layla. Hello. And Layla you know me? sure seems like she's yes. trapped now. Through the calculations I read here in the gray. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,003,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these, searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further? 2012 when Desmond saved the world. Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! All right. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave... ...so be it. I owe this to the people I... ...I hurt. The people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? 
A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place. She's fine, in a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus, we have to find her. You hurt her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you? You left her there. This... This is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, no. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars. ...as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear... ...we invented such things long, long before you did. I'll figure it out. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. 
not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use. To find my children. And bring my family back together. Wow, I'm kind of speechless here. So, Basim is now in, you know, the present time. I almost envy. Layla is stuck in that, you know, machine. Wow. This surely has to be the weirdest ending so far in, <laughs> in an Assassin's Creed game. Uh, what do I do now? Do I enter the Animus? This device has a thought interface. Do I really have to? Yeah, I guess we'll enter the Animus and see what happens. I'm sure that will still have something to do with Eivor. Maybe we'll get a final cutscene or something, you know? Before the end credits. But yeah, this seems to be the ending to the main story. Yeah, let's do it. Welcome home. It's a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Sigurd. For me. Gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Uh, uh... Eivor's returned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. Uh. Eivor? Ranvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl's Kuna has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. 
And when... No. No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steep my words gain wings. Odin's mead I form will bring. For noble deeds thine honor sing. We meet the place our trail of rest. In Odin gaze upon the dead. The host resound the mighty hall. For those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty hall. For we who fight, for we who fall. Wow, so, um, yep, this indeed appears to be the ending to the story. Porta Filke arc completed. Nice. Um, yeah, so Eivor becomes the new Jarl of Ravensthorpe. Cool. So, again, I did mention this earlier. Uh, we do have the epilogue left, I believe. And I'll show you, if I'm correct, it should appear now in... Um, uh, you know... The Alliance map. Let's see. Um, one big final battle. Sigurd. There we go. Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. And I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. Yeah. I agree. That's why I'm glad that Sigurd decided to, you know, follow us back home. I want to see the alliance map. In the previous episode, he wanted to stay by the way over there by that machine, but yeah, I was right. Look at that. Uh we do have Hamptonshire. So that's where the epilogue is. I guess we'll just yeah, it suggests power level 340. Damn. And very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. So yeah. Um, this As entire epilogue is, you know, there with his army. He is. He and Uba have gathered a sizable force. A big war pretty much between, you know, Eivor and her England alliance. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may versus free King Alfred and his armies. But yeah, this is looking promising. I'll go to Hamptonshire. So yeah, we'll include the epilogue in this series. We'll do them as well. And that's about it for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, I do know for a fact that we'll get to DLCs, you know, story-driven DLCs as well. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you would like to see. You one of them not. is in it's Ireland, the and the other one is so in Paris, if I'm not mistaken. Speak clearly, Valka. What have you seen? So have that you would could be really I interesting. Beast, I mean, the, the DLCs in back in Assassin's Creed Odyssey oh, were amazing, in my opinion. So hopefully these will be, your foe will be your as good as they were. Your hope will be your grief. This is I could hope, at least. Our <laughs> fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yawns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies. 
And yeah, Eivor has abandoned, you know, her fate, faith when it comes to, you know, Valhalla and all that. She doesn't even care anymore since, uh, well, everything that happened in the previous episode. But okay, um, yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. This is indeed the ending of the main story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think so far. Well, about the ending. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode and we'll do... Well, we'll start the epilogue. Yeah, take care. Peace. Bye.